Okay, so taking a look at verse 3, it is very similar to verse 2. Um, so we're basically going to be playing a couple of times um, without um, the vocals. Then he starts singing right at this point. Very similar to the first, uh, the second verse here, but we're going to do just one little thing differently. Okay, so basically we're going to do this. After he starts singing, you're going to play the same chord. Do that same figure again. Come down to the G sharp minor. Everything's the same so far. And instead of on this chord going, doing that on that, that little fill again, you're just going to pick across the chord. And then when we come back up to start over, we're going to do that little fill on. You're going to do that little fill on the B major instead of that A. And then we're going to do. After that, we're going to do that just slide up where we just hit the nines once. And then back to the A. All right, so let me just show you what we're going here. We come in without vocals twice, just the same way we play the verse in the second, uh, the second verse. Now you start stinging here. Okay, then we go back to doing it the same way we did in the second verse. Ending the verse once again with just that one time that will slide up and hit nine once. Whenever we're ending the verse, that's what we're doing. Go to the A, strum across, and then once again end with that E major seventh chord. I'm gonna play that all slowly just so you can follow along. Coming right out of the first chorus. Then we go back to the chorus, same exact chorus that we did before. Okay, and then after that chorus, we go to the outro section. Now here are the chords the outro section is based off. It's based off this A major chord, and you're gonna have the first string ringing throughout all of these chords. So you're gonna put your third finger at the seventh on the fourth string, second finger on the sixth on the third string, first finger on the uh, fifth fret on the second string and you're going to let that top string ring open. That's the first chord. The second chord is just going to be three strings. We're still going to keep the first string open but you're going to hold the fifth fret on the second string and the third string. All right. Then we go back to the same thing we played here at the 5th fret, but it's going to be at the 3rd fret, still keeping that 1st string open, and then down the same thing at the 1st fret. Alright, so the rhythm for that, we're basically going to play those 4 chords through first. What do you just... So this is the third time here, after the third time here, so we played those four chords 
three times. Then we're going to go to this little. Now what that is going to be is going to be a bar at the tenth fret across the first, second, third, and fourth strings with your first finger. And then you're going to add your third finger to the twelfth fret on the first string. And this is going to be a straight down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. A little bit of a driving rhythm. Then all you need to do is take the bar back one fret and put your second finger at the tenth fret on the first string. And then we're going to hold this major chord, the G major chord, it's the same as this E major that we did here at the seventh fret earlier in the song, but it's at the tenth fret now. And just strum those four middle strings. So we have this. You may want to mute that sixth string with the tip of your first finger just to make sure you don't hit it with the pick when you're doing the full strumming. All right, then we get more into the outro section here. We just have a little, the same four chords and we're going to do a little uh, fill after every sequence. So it's going to go like this. And it starts over. So what is that? So same chords. And then the first time through it, you're going to do a hammer on from hammer on to um, five to seven, come to five on the seventh on the sorry, five on the third string, and then come down and pull off seven to five on the fourth. All right, so that's the first time. Now the second time here, go through the same chords, and that is pretty much the same except you just add another note at the end of it, so it's a little bit faster timing too. So we hammer on 5 to 7, 9 on the third, uh, third string, I'm sorry, 5 on the third string, and then pull off 7 to 5, and then back pick the 7 again, okay? So basically, that is the, the chord for sequence done twice. And we have one fill for the first first ending, and then the second time through them, you play that second fill all together. Okay, then it starts over again. So basically, when you go through it twice with a different fill at the end of each one, um, so you've done both fills, that we're gonna count that as one time through. So you're going to do that entire sequence four times, all right? Then we're going to get to the, where the band drops out, or the drum ring drops out. Um, and we basically, it's going to be the same chords at the very end. First of all, you're going to hear a little guitar fill that goes... You're going to hear a, a note just sliding up. That's an overdub. Um, if you have another guitar player playing, uh, you can just have him slide up to the 14th fret on the third string. You'll hear that as soon as the band drops out, and we're now playing these chords at the very end of the song, a lot lighter. Okay, so now we've gotten down to that last chord, and we're going to put a little fill on it. And that is just a pick up your first finger, hammer on to the first fret on the second string, then pick the op first string open, second string, and then third string. We have. Okay, come back to repeat. Now, when we get to this C chord, we're going to add this little, which is just a pull off from the third, reach over your third ear to the third fret on the first string with your first finger, and do a pull off from three to the open string. So we have this. And then same two chords to end it, uh, end that four chord sequence. And we're going to do this little fill now. That's going to pick the second string, hammer on the third fret, pull back off to the first fret again. 
So a little hammer pull on that second string with your pinky, and then pick the third string where you have that second fret held. So we have. Okay, now the third time through these chords at the very end of the song, you're gonna do the same little pull off here on that C chord. And that's all for the fills in that, la that third time through. You don't do anything on these last two chords. And then we're just gonna do a little bit differently here. The fourth time, just at the very end of the song, we got that same major chord, then we're gonna make it minor. Basically, by taking your, picking up your second finger and barring your first finger across the second and third string. And you're gonna do a quick little. So we get this. And then we just do a quick hammer pull at, uh, on, from five to seven, back to five on the third string. And come down here to the. Um, what was the third chord previously. Keep your first finger up for a second. We're going to drag across those three strings now. So it's going to be, the second string is going to be open. Then come with an upstroke and pick the, with your, put the, the first finger down on that third fret where it was before and then pick the third string. Then come down to the first, that last chord in the sequence, and do the same thing on that. Except you don't think you have to go to the third string anymore. Just ends on that note. So we have a little drag, and put the finger down, and then we end with a standard A major chord. So that very end of the song, let me play that whole thing all four times going through that chord sequence. Okay, and that's it for Under the Bridge. Have fun and work it all together and see if you can play along with the full performance. See you guys soon. Bye-bye.